If a creative director can come up with a brilliant creative idea that the AI cannot, what AI, I think, will be able to do so well is then customize and personalize that idea on perhaps almost a near individual basis. Something we're already seeing, but I think at almost a minutia level where it could be. So I think just taking that idea and then hyper-personalizing it, potentially that's the most powerful combination of a creative director and AI working together. Because I think the thing that it struggles with is the nuances, the nuances of language, yeah. emotion, social interaction, even understanding cultural zeitgeist and trends and things like that. Just it's, that's quite, I feel that, that is quite far away. But yeah, in terms of helping us realize it, personalize it, make it more efficient, potentially removing bias as well, I think is a really yeah. interesting one. Yeah. I think it was uh, Disney, uh, one, uh, somebody put 2,000 Disney movies to AI and looked for trends and biases. And actually, we could be using it to train out biases from, from creative work, which could be interesting. And also, I think just to the last comment on that is that um, I wonder what the return on investment is for someone creating an AI creative director. In that, if 90% of the volume of work is executional, you probably can afford to have a couple of um, allegedly highly paid creative directors with a bunch of machines um, uh, and, and leave that kind of highly paid curation or creative direction job alone because. As, as Hattie said, teaching an AI emotional intelligence and the ability to understand nuance is hard, whereas teaching it to do executional things is probably probably quite easy. Um, so I think we're done. Um, round, I'd like to give a final round of applause to Pete and Hattie for uh, giving you their points of view. And, um, uh, and thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day at COGX. Thank you.